Alright, so in this problem, I have x over 2 to the power of x is equal to 16. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting 16 here as 2 to the power of 4. So now I have x over 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now, I'm going to take the power of 1 half on both sides. So now I have x over 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 half is equal to 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 1 half. Now, x over 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 half, well if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So x over 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 half, I can multiply x and 1 half. So now I get x over 2 to the power of x over 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 1 half. That's 2 to the power of 4 times 1 half. 4 times 1 half is simply 2. So now I have x over 2 to the power of x over 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 2. Now I'm going to let the variable y equal x over 2. So now if I substitute in y for x over 2, I have y to the power of y is equal to 2 to the power of 2. If I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, y is equal to 2. Now remember we set y equal to x over 2. So if y equals 2 and y is also equal to x over 2, this means that 2 is equal to x over 2. So now if I multiply both sides by 2, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 4. So this is my answer. Alright, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x minus 8 is equal to 8. So to solve this, I obviously want to find x. So for my solution... I'm going to first start by rewriting 4 as 2 squared. So now I have 2 squared to the power of x minus 8 is equal to 8. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So in this case, I have 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x minus 8. And we can think of 2 here as m and x minus 8, the whole thing, as n. So I can rewrite this as a to the power of m times n, or 2, since 2 is a, 2 to the power of x minus 8 times 2, and this is equal to 8. Now, 2 times x minus 8, this is equal to, well, I have to distribute the 2. 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times negative 8 is negative 16. So I have 2 to the power of 2x minus 16 is equal to 8. Now, to solve this, we want to make these two terms the same base. Well, right now the bases are 2 and 8, which aren't the same. So 2, this, this is the most simplified it can be, but 8, well, 8, that's the same thing as 2 to the power of 3, right? And if we make if we turn this into 2 to the power of 3, then both of these terms are going to have the same base. So I have 2 to the power of 2x minus 16 is equal to 2 to the power of 3. And now these two bases are the same. And now the reason we did that was because if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 2x minus 16 is equal to 3. So now I have 2x minus 16 is equal to 3, meaning 2x is equal to 19, 
and x is equal to 19 over 2. All right, so in this problem, I have 8 to the power of x is equal to 80. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So I have log 8 to the power of x is equal to log 80. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log a to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log a is equal to log 80. Now I'm going to divide both sides by log 8. These two cancel out. Now I have x is equal to log 80 over log 8. Now log 80, I can rewrite as log 8 times 10. And I have this over log 8. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log a times 10 is equal to log 8 plus log 10. And I have this over log 8. Now this is the same thing as log 8 over log 8 plus log 10 over log 8. Now log 8 and log 8, these two cancel out. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 10 over log 8. Log 10, that's equal to 1. So I have x is equal to 1 plus 1 over log 8. Now log 8, I can rewrite as log 2 to the power of 3. And I can move 3 to the front. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 1 over 3 times log 2. Now log 2, this is equal to 0 0.301. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 1 over 3 times 0 0.301 is 0 0.903. And 1 over 0 0.903 is 1.0174. Sorry, 1.1074. So this is equal to 2.107.